Right to graph. So we are giving. Once I give, I going to give the size of our graph we want to plot. So PLT. Let me just copy this. So PLT. So here is going to be five. Here is going to be three point five. Then let's come back and copy this. We are going to plot this as well. So let's copy all this. So if you look at on our graph, you can see we are plotting the this the label. So that's that's why we copy the label so we are going to plot it against summation of all the values in the excel so if you look at the excel so if you look at the excel so this one has a summation so to sum the so this julius to sum the values for of all the scores julius had in all the subjects the summation of all the scores gideon's have in all the subjects per 30 percent of the class score then put it there so let's come back so okay i think we copied something so let's limit labels same thing so that's the labels we are plotting just like the names so okay then label tops. <laughs> I was adding label lobs, so label post. So this this is not anything like this is just like assigning. You can write any name you want, right? So it's just like assigning something. So NP arrange. So this numpy, remember we call the numpy as MP. So numpy dot arrange. So we have our len labels. All right. So student. So sum of student values. So student. values so this is what i'm talking about the sizes i'm talking about like the portions you know each portion is the sum of all the scores in the julius all the scores in each student subject so student sum so just paste it there then i uh, want to format our graph and plot it so let's say plt so let's format or oh, let's say um, okay let's format uh, what am i doing i just want to try and separate it to make it understandable so okay arrange Let's see arrange plotting values. So we want to arrange them. Maybe this should be here, this should be here, this is so I think this will make sense. Alright, so we are going to call our bar chart here. So Okay, we can even see let's say plotting our values is still the same thing. Arrange is the same thing. Okay, plot. I'm just trying to make it so that when you are trying to go through this code in the future, it becomes understandable for you to make it easier to refer back to. So, bar. So, remember I said the bar chart is the graph thing there. So, bar is when it's pi, pi chart is pi. So, bar chart is bar. So we are going to call this label pops. We call store there. 
so we have our student sum there as well and we have our align center whoa sorry center with uh, okay so alpha should be 1.0 so 1.0 we then uh, plot dot x so, once, so this all comes to the modules we imported so stx so label pops so labels then we are plotting the y axis so in the y axis let's say y label y label just as in tree view we have the y view and the x view so that's how it is so y label so in the y label we want to plot the scores for the students so if you look at this let me show what i'm talking about so we are plotting the scores in the y axis and okay the scores in the x axis then the y axis so this how is like so let's come back here so let's see we have the what are we plotting again Okay, let's look at our values. Okay, so PLT. So to the student. So PLT. If you look at our graph, once again, we have the student here. We have the average raw mark here. So once again, how I come up with all this is this is just like the sum. So for example, we look at the Excel. I'm not trying to focus on the data science but, but let's try and do something at least to make it more so for example when we sum this okay so let's sum all this why is it sound sound? Okay, I think I've the reason why I'm struggling is because I've closed the window to make it more big. Let me expand it so okay. I think I have the sum here. I can see the this thing here. Okay. So we have the 1034. So this is like the total sum. So you sum all here as well. So this is like 888. Okay, so oh, what am I doing? Oh. All right, so so this is like eight zero five for Daniel. So if you look at our graph, you see Daniel eight zero five eight 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 ten thirty four. So I hope you are trying to get what I'm talking about now. So let's. Get back to our source group so PRT though so we have the X label now like the X as is so like the label on the so on the X as is you want to say student so if you look at the X as is you can see some little student in there so say student because that's what we are going to plot our student labels then we have plt yeah, so we have tight to so open parentheses so we are plotting average scores so that's like the heading I think 
Harvest course. Pay thirty percent. Oh, come on. Okay. Harvest course per thirty percent. So, if you look at this, so this is like average raw mark for all students. So let's make it like average raw mark. So if we look at this, so let's say average raw mark. So you can here we can see average raw mark. Think the row here. So average average row mark for all subjects. Okay, average row mark. So average row mark. I just put the scores there. I'm just trying to make trying to put something simple so that it will be easy for you to refer to. So this is like the scores okay so this is like the average of scores so maybe if this is the scores for julius so the average score you are supposed to get is thousand so julius has after summing julius scores the average of it is like 908 so per the 30 percent so so i think dennis maybe so dennis is the only student who passed the average raw mark given for so Julius has 1034, so he's the winner in the class. So followed by Gideon, who is also close to the average raw mark, which is the thousand. So this is like nine five two. So like that's that's basically what it is. So I'm that's what I'm doing. So I don't want you to get confused. So I'm just trying to put something that will make it easier for you to understand. So average scores per thirty percent. So this there is so this is like how came up with these values so how you how you man okay how you get the average score for all the students so that whenever you sum their scores you are giving them the average they are supposed to reach so then maybe you can use to determine their position or whatever you want to do with it so like that's how it is so average scores by 30 percent of all their scores then we have like Plot the title. Okay, so I think I made mistake here. So this should be okay. We have Y label, X label. So this should be like the title, not title. Title. So plot dot title. The Plot type layout. So open up your references. So we are giving pad of 2.2. We are giving it y the um, sorry, sorry w pad. It will be lower case w. W pad of 0.5. Um, all right we have a height part of 0 0.1 the next thing finally plt again dot x takes so let's copy this So rotation should be thirty. So this 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 all comes in the math, but you can go to the math plot lib with our website. You can read more about all these stuffs. So it's thirty. So we have the horizontal. alignment so my spelling it white 
yeah i think so so horizontal alignment no space between them so horizontal alignment okay i think is it alignment okay so horizontal alignment should be center center then we want to apply values on the top of our bar chart so set values to the top of the chart or graph well okay so we see from index and data points points is per right here data point in enumerate so in enumerate so open parentheses so student sum that will bring some this thing here so we'll come so we say plt so we'll click and add the right plt dot test dot test so we say x is in this so what is what you are doing here so i'm trying to put that text on the labels there so else you have our index we have our y to be like uh, the data points so each of the data points there is going to be um, plus 0.3 We have S. So I will explain this once we are done with plotting so that I can use what you've done to explain it for you better to understand. So format. So inside our format, we have our data point. So let's come back here. So we have our font font so comma and we have our font okay sorry I'm not it should be font size So this should be equal to 10. Then horizontal alignment. So horizontal alignment center. Okay, we are done. Okay, we are left with one more thing. We need to put it on our window. So we have our V. A should be bottom bottom should be bottom okay so like i said we are left with one more thing so we want to put like what we did here so let's copy this so we want to put our this thing on our window as well so we are done with the graph we just want to place it on our window so let's dent this a little bit to be in line 
okay i think it's in line with this okay so here we go draw okay so here x will be 600 then y will be same same okay get tk so let's run it and see okay i think we have a problem so numpy has no attribute arrange oh okay sorry so what line is that so that's 311 three no i'm not sure it's 311 i think it's in line 159 yes okay so it's supposed not to be supposed to be arranged with one hour not oh where is that from okay so here is it so arrange it one hour so let's run it again so here we go we have our graph nicely placed here so we have our students so for example if i go here so what is the important values so let's say i change this one to magic and i run it can see there's here appears magic so it's like the labels you are plotting there so that is for the graph what more let me see from that with what more do you have so it is student so here should be like the average scores so this is not like this is not the raw scores this is like the sum of the scores this is like the raw scores so here should be like sum of student scores so let's go so let's say here is the average scores average scores for each okay so average scores for each student okay so let's run it again yeah so average scores for each student so it is like okay this is like the heading so average scores for each student so okay student okay I think we are done with it if we compare it with our target without okay so quickly one more thing before i forget so let's say we launch our window and uh, we close it you can see it's still running at the background so quickly let's just create a function that will destroy the window for us so quickly let's see the function call so let's say serve dot window dot protocol so inside we say w m or in upper case delete window so let's call our function let's say serve dot exit window so let's come to the down and create a function this function we just called here so self dot exit window so self so we need to indent it a little bit so let's select all and use shift tab on windows or if if you are not using window you can just clear it back so 
can just click back for it to be in line with the oh sorry i think this should be def df like we are defining something where is it where is it okay so this should be df okay so it should be online with the init function here so that's the reason why i need to indent it so define exit window which we call here so let's come here let's say self dot window dot quit so this is it so now let's launch it again and see so as you can see now now the window is not running in the background now in the time i say no error in the terminal again so it's working properly now 